Minister, the government's housing policy is pushing more families into homelessness, pushing up rents and house prices, is forcing more and more of our young people to consider immigrating, and it's damaging our public confidence and it's undermining our economy now. It's reported in today's Irish Times that the unpublished research by the Housing Commission has found that, that the number of new-built homes that will be needed is between 42,000 and 62,000 per year. But yet your government's failed housing plan only targets 33,000 homes per year, a plan destined to fail, a plan planning to fail. Targets have been widely criticised and your plan is inadequate, not just by Sinn Féin, but by industry and indeed by academic experts. And now your plan has been fatally undermined by the very housing commission that your government established. The implications for this, for struggling renters and for those struggling to buy a home are very stark. Your housing plan is not only failing under its own terms, it is actually destined to fail. According to this research, even if you met your targets by 2030, there would be a shortfall of as much as 245,000 homes. Now, that's alarming for everybody, for those struggling to find affordable accommodation, for those who will need affordable accommodation in the years ahead. We at Sinn Féin have argued as far back as 2020 that the real housing needed, with pent-up demand for social and affordable housing, when that's taken into account, that the real demand was above 40,000 new homes per year. But since then, we've had three years of your undersupply despite continued population growth. So it is obvious that the government's housing targets need to be revised up, and revised up significantly, and revised up immediately. The current targets aren't based on evidence or objective assessment of need. Instead, they are a result of political manoeuvring, boasting that targets are met when the targets themselves are clearly, clearly flawed. And this must stop. Because why must it stop? Because it is too serious. We have homelessness now that are reaching record numbers, with increases across every single category, including children. We have renters that are facing extortionate rents with no capacity to save and little home of ever owning their own, little hope of owning their own home. And according to the State of the Nation poll carried out by Virgin Media, over half of renters now worry that they will not be able to pay their rent in the next 12 months. House prices have smashed the Celtic Piger peaks of the time with those struggling to get a foot on the property ladder now doubting if they will ever own their own home. And this is draining the hope and harming the life prospects of many of our people. A survey found that 92% of 18 to 24 year olds now fear that they will never be able to buy their own home. Minister, that's where our young people are thinking. And no wonder that half of young Irish adults are now considering immigration beaten down by the high living costs and your government's housing crisis that is never ending. Your government must change course, Minister. You must commit the, uh, to, to, to in revising these figures immediately. Otherwise, you're committing the Irish people to a worsening and permanent housing crisis. So can I ask you, will the Minister publish the findings of the Housing Commission that fatally uh, 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 flaws your own plan? Will you immediately revise your government's inadequate, deeply flawed housing targets? And will you give responsibility to verifying annually, reviewing and publishing the data of housing need to a fully independent group, which would include the ESRI and the Housing Agency? Minister Ryan, please. Firstly, very careful not to categorise a target as a limit on ambition. We want to smash those targets, of course, because we all in this House, every one of us, have a concern for our younger people that they can get a home, raise a family. That, that's not an exclusive commodity. That belongs to everyone. And we absolutely are committed to do everything we can. We had a target last year of 24,600 houses. An hour ago, the CSO came out with the figures for last year. It wasn't 24,600, it was 29,851. Way higher. Now I'd like it to go higher further, higher again, because we do have a real problem and we have to address it. But we should be honest and accurate in terms of what's happening. 
That report from the Housing Commission was commissioned by the government. We asked for it. We're the people who brought forward that analysis and will, in July, when they present their work, of course present it as part of getting the analysis right to get the solutions right. And we will need to go more, higher, further, because more people are coming into our country than we're expected. That commission analysis is for 2050. The housing fall targets are 2030. Be careful you're not comparing apples and oranges. Of course we're going to have to go higher than that 33,000 limit. The question is how do we do it? And the question as well is about the quality of the housing about housing in the right place. It ain't just a numbers game. We need to make sure that we follow through, in my mind, with the national planning framework, so we build new communities that are really high quality, have really high quality housing in it. That's important, as well as just the numbers. In terms of delivering it, I think one of the key vehicles is the Land Development Agency, because the state's gonna have to take a bigger role. Now, as I understand, Sinn Féin opposed the Land Development Agency would get rid of it. I think that would be a mistake, a real mistake, because I think the Land Development Agency provides a mechanism where we can use public land to develop cost rental housing that is in the right place, really high quality, lower cost, 30% saving, and you throw that straight away if you're in government. I fear as to what that would do for the delivery of housing numbers. And I dose my Deputy O'Brien saying that he's nodding, he's agreeing that they are going to get rid of the Land Development Agency. Well, how then could you get access and use, for example, lands in Dublin Port or lands in Houston Station? Yes, we can. Yes, we do. And yes, we will You've deliver that. Three and, a half and that cost rental model, I presume we're agreeing cost rental is one of the main part solutions, one of the main parts of ramping up the numbers. I think the LGA is perfectly suited and the right agency to deliver that sort of expansion. And there will be no shortage of funding and no shortage of ambition. It does take time. It is not easy. The hot cost of building haven't gone up. We can bring it down by using the land development agency and public land as well as the private sector. We need so many different parts of the solution. And that's where we're committed to in the Housing for All. With the project TUSSE, half a billion euro is it? to help make that happen. And in the instances where the market's failing, where those built to rent apartments, particularly in the centre of our towns and cities, are not going to be built well, I believe we should step in and take on that development, not to be afraid for the state to do more. When? Today. You'd probably object to it. It's urgent. No one disagrees on the scale and the need for urgency. But having increased the delivery last year beyond the target, I'd like to see us do the same every year of this government and into the next government because I think the housing for all strategy is the please. correct way of addressing the problem. Deputy Doherty. Minister, you say that money isn't enough. An issue. And in fairness, it mightn't be an issue because the money that was allocated by these houses to the minister beside you, he couldn't even spend a billion euro gone unspent in housing last year. Two and a half thousand social houses less than was promised last year delivered. That's the record of your government. Well, listen, your, your government set up this commission. You should have actually looked at housing need before you come out with your f uh, flawed plan. And what Sinn Féin have been saying to you, what academics have been saying to you, what researchers have been saying to you, is that the numbers aren't adequate, has now been proven. The housing commission is saying you are way off target of what is needed. It needs to be between 42,000 and 62,000 every single year. Minister, the problem here is, and this is so serious for people out here, is your government is planning to fail planning to fail and the consequences are de desperate for people. Half of young people are planning to emigrate. Others are locked into spiralling rents that they cannot afford in the middle of a cost of housing crisis. We have thousands upon thousands of people who are living in emergency accommodation who be is becoming a permanent feature of your government. Do you now accept that the targets that you have set in Housing for All are fatally flawed on Thank the basis you, Deputy, of the research by the Housing Commission up. and that they need to be immediately revised Thank upwards and Thank delivered you. upon. Minister. That analysis is for the years to 2050, ours is to 2030. And absolutely, we need, in my mind, to go further because there's more people coming into our country and the likely change in the household characteristics mean that we should err on the side of more. Absolutely. 
you're saying we're planning to fail. That's not true. One of the biggest problems is people objecting to planning. Like your guys. One of the biggest problems is that actually you can't get Annex projects door, yeah. delivered quickly Please, because every time we do put in, particularly in areas where it's closer to the centre, where it's slightly higher density, then the planning system and the objections, many instances from councillors right across the country, because it isn't always popular, because it isn't always the easy answer, because people don't always necessarily want change when it comes to the low lo own local area. In terms of how we speed things up, lack of finance will not be the reason from the state. In fact, the state may have to do further because with the high interest rates, the private sector is going to not be able to do as much. But the delivery requires, the delivery requires support in council level right across the country for the planning urgency we need to deliver them. All right. And that's where Time is up, Minister. no party in this House can, I think, point fingers at anyone else. No.